When it comes to world building, the pantheon of your world is going to play a huge role in both your world's development and the development of your players. With all of the different pantheons out there, which one is right for your world? Welcome to the Blue Dragon Guild, a channel all about Dungeons and Dragons. I'm Baron. There are a ton of different pantheons and deities to choose from in D&D. In the player's handbook, in the back starting on page 294, we've got all these different tables of the deities that go throughout each of the different realms in D&D. We've got Forgotten Realms, Greyhawk, Eberron, we've got a table of non-human deities, we've even got Celtic, Egyptian, Norse, uh, Greek deities. There are a ton of pantheons to choose from, but how do you choose which one is right for your world? If you're going for that high fantasy setting, Forgotten Realms, Greyhawk, and Dragonlance are going to be perfect for your world. If you're going for a more earth-based, uh, historical kind of game, then those other pantheons will work perfect. And if you don't like any of these pantheons, you can build your own. When building my D&D world of Restoria, I built all of the deities up from scratch. I built their backstories, I built how they created the world, so on and so forth, and I'm really happy with all of them. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you don't want to build all of them from the ground up? One of the easiest things that you can do is take these existing pantheons and rework them to fit your world. You can change the names, you can change their domains, you can do whatever you want. It's your world. For the current world that I'm playing in, running games with, I took the Dawn War Pantheon and I modified it a, a good little bit. Uh, some of the deities I took out, some I added in. Uh, a few of the deities I took from my Restoria world and added in. And I'm really happy with this. It's a whole lot less work than building a pantheon from the ground up. So with both of those pantheons, I'm really happy with them. They both fit the world that I'm working to create in both of those instances. But how do you decide which one is right for you? First off, you need to take a look at the world that you're building. What kind of setting is it? Are you that high fantasy that has the elves and the dwarves? Is there a lot of magic in your world? Is magic uh, not that common? Do the deities walk the earth or are they uh, kept away from the mortal realm and only communicate through signs or avatars? As I said before, the Forgotten Realms, the Greyhawk Pantheon, the Dragon Lance, they're all really great for that. They're all set up to be that way. If magic is rare in your world, you may take those pantheons, cut them in half, cut some of the magic deities out, cut a few other things out. That way magic is like super rare. In the deities that are over magic, their influence is basically non-existent. That doesn't mean you have to cut them out entirely, but more so means that they're just so rare that if anybody sees it, they may have no idea who you're talking about, or they may be really fascinated and you meet the one other guy that follows that deity. If a Magitek world is what you're going for, look at the Eberron deities. They're already set up for that kind of thing because that's how that world is made. You should probably take a lot of things from the Eberron book because they're really good for that. Overall, whichever deity you choose, make sure it's right for your world. If you're having a lot of trouble with the Pantheon, get with your players, figure out what their characters worship or want to worship, and go from there. So if you build your Pantheon or you use one of the pre-existing ones, make sure it's one that is easy for you as the Dungeon Master to remember. So let's take it down to the comments section. What system do you use when determining the deities to use in your game? Are you already playing in a setting with those deities already established? We'd love to hear about it. If you want to see more D&D content, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see a video about using character backstories, check it out right here. And until next time, keep the dice rolling. Oh.